Well, hello everyone and welcome back to day seven of the daily videos. I'm currently, um, well, I'm obsessed with the food mixer, as you can tell. Uh, I've, um, I've been making bread. So this is a two pound loaf. It's proved once, I knocked it back, greased the tin, put it in the tin, uh, and I've let it rise. So basically when it went in the tin, it was just below the level. So it's basically doubled in size. I think it's uh, ready to go in the oven. I've put some flour on it. Right, so one thing I was told was when you put your loaf in the oven, you meant to chuck some ice cubes in there and it creates a bit of a quick steam bath uh, and helps the bread rise a bit more. But I don't think, we'll... if it's gonna rise even more, how big is this loaf gonna be? Uh, well, we won't know until we put it in. So the oven's nice and hot, looks pretty good, I think. Uh, we're gonna put that in. Chuck some ice in there. Yeah, you hear that steam? We'll check in 30 minutes how that is. I've got another one because I've got these two loaf tins. I got these from the same place I got the cake tins from, the ones you saw in yesterday's video. They're from the Netherton Foundry in Shropshire. And it's actually where the agar is still made in Shropshire. Uh, and so this agar would have been made, I think it was the year 1945. So it's 76 years old now, this cooker, but it's still still working. So yeah, these are made in the same place and they're spun iron, they're not cast iron. So I'm not sure how spun iron works, but uh, they're made from iron and they're the best. So they basically work like a like a, um, a Dutch oven when you put bread in that. I guess the oven's cast iron, this is cast iron. So it's probably gonna be really nice bread. So I've got this, which is a, a one pound uh, loaf. It's one pound tin. So I'm just gonna turn that out because it's, more than doubled in size. Look at that. And this is a really basic bread recipe. Uh, and I'll actually put the recipe for this um, bread in the video description so you can try it out. But what I think I'm going to do, I've got a little notebook in the chateau that somebody sent me. Um, and it, it's a guy that binds books himself. And it's all bound in leather. And I, um, I'm thinking what I might do is all of the recipes that I've tried and that I like I'm going to write them down because obviously some of these recipes you find them in old books, you find them online uh, and it's hard to to keep track of them. If you want to use the same recipe again, you've got to find the website or dig the book out. So what I'm going to do is all of the recipes that I love, I'm going to start writing them in this book. Recipes that I've come up with myself, um, uh, recipes that I've tried and tweaked to my own taste. I'm going to write them all down and when the book's full, I'm going to publish it. It says make it into a little sort of sausage and fold the edges under. I used to make quite a lot of bread in the old days, but I've not made any bread for probably about six years. So let's give this a try. So I've greased that tin. I've actually greased it with some beef, beef dripping um, uh, because I want the, um, the cast iron pot to season as it cooks. So. Uh, it's also, it's greased, it's also going to help season it when it cooks, so let's do that. I'm just going to put that over whilst it um, proves for the second time. And when that other piece of bread's ready to come out, that one should be ready to go in. Right, while well, uh, the, um, the bread's got about 15 minutes left, but I can hear the cherry picker. Uh, so Billy's obviously doing something with it. I don't know if he's going up on the roof or, but we're going to go and find out. I think he's taking out one of the windows or he's going to sand down one of the window frames, I'm not sure. Because he's doing up one of the bedrooms upstairs at the minute. Right, while Billy does that, let's go and have a look over here. So you can see that the grass that was cut the other day was soaking wet. It's now completely dry. And um, over there, the farmer's been baling them up already. There's loads over there. I'm presuming he's taking a break for lunch or he's going to do the rest of it tomorrow. So we let him take all the grass, basically. He, um, he cuts the fields, manages them for us, takes the grass away. Uh, the grass goes to feed the lovely cows in the um, dairy farm, which is just there and we get an endless lifetime supply of fresh milk. I'm gonna go back in now because it's quite hot actually. I was complaining the other day that it was cold and now I'm complaining that it's hot, so typical English. I'm um, gonna go back into the cottage and wait for the bread to finish. 
<laughs> Billy seems to have disappeared off of the cherry picker, so I'm assuming he's gone through the window. No sign of him. <laughs> It's a good way to get through into the bedroom though. It's quicker than going upstairs, I suppose. Right, back to the cottage. Look how quickly that dough's risen. We've literally been outside for five minutes. Um, it's because the oven's really nice and warm, so anything you've got on top of here, especially like doughs, they're gonna prove probably twice as fast as, um, as just leaving it out on the countertop. I'm not sure how long we've got left. I know with an arger you can check, actually, because the Argar ovens are cast iron, so it's actually hot metal radiating infrared radiation that actually cooks the food. It's not like a, a fan oven where it's hot air. So with a fan oven, you open the door, all the hot air goes out, your bread or your cake's gonna collapse. Whereas the Argar, even if you open the door and the air goes out, the infrared heat is still hitting the food, so it's not gonna collapse. So I'm gonna take a quick peek. If you come here quickly. Wow, oh, it's huge. Well, quick, close it up. That's a huge loaf of bread. And the smell is amazing. Oh! And they, don't they say that's the way to sell a home uh, when somebody comes to view it, uh, bake a loaf of bread, because the smell of freshly baked bread makes people buy houses, apparently. Well, I'll tell you, no one's buying this house. So it's finally time to take the bread out, because the time has gone off. Mm. Is it done? It certainly is. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> That's one big loaf of bread. Uh, sounds pretty hollow. Wow. <laughs> that is absolutely huge and it's perfect. Look at that. Turn it around that way. <laughs> That's a, a proper loaf of bread. Although the test is you meant to turn it over and tap the underside. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, and it's hot. Okay, so there you have it, a loaf of bread. I'm gonna, this one's ready to go in the oven now. So I'm gonna put that one in. Uh, and then I'll probably keep that one for, for us, for in here. Uh, and we'll see, there's only one extra. We'll have to decide between Billy and, Billy and Gwen or mum. See who's gonna get that. But whoever gets one, I'll make one for the other one anyway, but. Look at that. And here we go. Ice cubes. <laughs> uh, we'll wait for that one to cool down and we'll cut a slice and see what it's like. Right, I'm just going to take a walk up to the chateau's main gate. You can see the uh, castle behind me. And I believe mum's up here picking blackberries because she seems quite enthusiastic about the jam idea. So we need to go and see how many we can find because ideally I could do with about two kilos of blackberries. It's a lovely day, look at that. What are you doing, Mum? I've come brambling. Okay. Getting the blackberries. Yeah. For uh, your jam you're going to make, so I can have a jar. Well, I've got loads of little jars, so... Um... Yeah, they're not quite, well, some of them are ready, but not all of them. Well, if I can get a kilo, I don't know if this is the best spot for them anyway. I was going to try with the golf buggy and go down a bit further around the bottom of the fields. Yeah, well, I come a... here because this is a gap in the tree line. Oh, yeah. So the sun always gets to these ones. Yeah. So, the, you know, if you want some early ones, this is a place to come. Yeah. But you can try elsewhere as well. Yeah, we'll try elsewhere. We'll just get these ones first. Oh, look, some cows yeah. I'm going to lay down. The farmer's moved them into this big field now. Yeah, that's a lovely day, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Here comes Andrew. Have you got any other boxes to put them in? There's another jug there, look. Whereabouts? Oh yeah, there we go, that's perfect. Right, that'll do. There you are, I'm gonna give you the camera while I pick some blackberries. <laughs> oh, nice one there. They're not quite right, these ones, that's the only problem. There's an umbrella on the buggy if you want to hook any branches over. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, there's some good ones over there. I'll tell you what, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's try this. Oh, I don't know. That's a good one. That's the only thing with brambles, they're very prickly. That's two. <laughs> 
good effort. How many have you got, Mum? Only a few. <laughs> Not many. Keep picking. <laughs> this is what you call working for your dinner. I missed that one. Look at that lovely one there, look. Perfect. Oh, they're really good. I've just realised Mum's microphone's still on, so hope you're not doing any heavy breathing, Mum. Huh? I said, I hope you're not doing any heavy breathing. Your microphone's still on. <laughs> I could well be doing heavy breathing. <laughs> well, I can't cut it out because it all goes onto one track. The horses used to like eating these blackberries. What, our horses? Yeah. They go along the hedgerow and they just eat them all. Yeah. And then they have a nice black nose <laughs> and a black tongue. <laughs> well, we've got most of the good ones from here. The rest of them are going to need a bit longer. What do you suggest? Well, we're going to the deer park. So yeah. we can find. Oh, there's one nice big one just there. Let me get that before we go. What's that purple flower there? Is that deadly nightshade? Could be. Won't be eating that. They're all hiding. The best ones are all underneath the leaves. I reckon the best ones are on the other side of the bush. Yeah. If you yeah. want to go in the cow field and get them. I could go in the cow field. No, don't. Yeah. Just in case they chase you. They won't chase me. They might. And then you'll lose all your blackberries. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget that umbrella, it's in the hedge. Come on, let's go uh, let's go into the field. Right. Yeah, hold me blackberries. I'm gonna get under the fence. I suppose I better go bound backwards. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, I'm stuck on the barbed wire. <laughs> right. If you, oh, if you pass me the camera. Come on. <laughs> Be careful with the barbed wire. Get very low. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Let's go and try not to get killed by the cows. Watch that, there's a cow pat there. I stood in many of them as a child. Uh oh, here they come. Oh, the good ones are on this side. Here you are. See so, yeah, if there's any friendly ones. Oh, it's the dog. They're going to chase the dogs, aren't they? These definitely are the best ones. Yeah, chuck us that umbrella, Mum. I need to move this electric. Oh, I need to move the electric fence away. If I get approached by an angry bovine, I can fend it off. Or an angry farmer, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't reach the rest. Should we uh, vamos? Right then, chauffeur. Yeah, you drive. I'll try not. Wait there, let me just secure the blackberries. I don't want to lose those after I just picked them all. All right, there we go. Well, this is only two seats, so I've been consigned to the back. But actually, it's the best place. It's more fun. You can put your head over the roof and have a good look. Oh, we're going up the ro are we going up the road? Hold on, bike. I'm holding on. <laughs> Go on, put your foot down, Mum. Bertie and Patton have come with us. They love a good run. Film this. Uh, oh. <laughs> Go around the edge. It'll be all right. Yeah, I'm ducking. <laughs> I haven't seen any good blackberries yet. Yeah, they're not ripe, those ones, no.
Oh, that's a good one there. If I try not to drop them all. Oh, there's some lovely big ones up there, Mum. Huge ones. Oh, no. Can't reach them. I've just got one huge one and that was it. I don't know if you can reach them with that umbrella. Let me try it. Yeah, I'll try this. Need a machete to get to them. Try and pull some of these out of the way. Yeah, look at that. They seem to have disturbed uh, a wasp nest. A wasp nest, yeah. Right, well, come on then, let's get going. Yeah. Oh no, they're, they're wasps, they're over there. I'll see if I can get some of these without getting stung. They don't seem very happy. Right, mother, push on. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, the deer, get the film. Got two of them. Did you get them? So Alexander was telling me today <laughs> that he found a tick yeah. on his private parts. <laughs> so I said, <laughs> what? <laughs> I said to him, so you had a tick on your. <laughs> it did make him laugh. <laughs> right, let's go. Right, there's no, I don't think there's any in the wall garden. I think Steve caught all the brambles out. There's a couple over there, actually. Over by the tennis court. Yeah, I'll have a quick look. Down the side there. Well, these are some good ones. Get these. They all, all, all go in. So they're all picked from around the estate. Chateau blackberries, but to be honest, I think they're all the same wherever you go. Well, there's some good ones, but they're on the inside of the tennis court. I'll leave them. I can come and get some more when I need to do another batch. So hopefully we've got a kilo. Uh, that means if we can put that with a kilo of raspberries, that's one batch and they're only 200 gram jars. So, you know, we'll fill up quite a lot of them. Who's that? This is Woody. I don't think anyone's seen Woody before. Hello, Woody. He's a good boy, isn't you? You live at mum and dad's, don't you? Oh. <laughs> right, well, there you go. Should we go? Yeah. You drive up here, we'll go and weigh him and you can have your bread. Oh, it's hot in here. Mm. Right, we need a bowl that we can weigh them all in. Have I got a decent sized bowl somewhere? All right, let's see how many we've got then. Well, that's 490 grams. Eight hundred and basically we need another 100, 110 grams of blackberries. I'll have to go back out. <laughs> <laughs> But saying that, how much? Yeah, no, that's fine. You yeah. can get away with that and just put the same in or top it up with raspberries. Well, look, there you go. Look, that's a kilo of raspberries and a kilo, just under a kilo of blackberries. Yeah. I think that's probably all yeah, right. Yeah, that's fine. Right, well, I'll give them a wash then. And uh, I've got a present for you. Oh, there well, it look is. at look. that, Michael. Little, wow. I did a, a big loaf and a little one. Yeah. So oh, you can you. take that back at home. <clears throat> That'll just lose with that. Yeah. It just wants the jam now to go with it. Oh yeah, I'll get you some jam. Look, and I've even done a little label at the Gardener's Cottage Bakery. Right, perfect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's non-stick paper. It's greaseproof. It's greaseproof paper, it won't stick. Right, you're welcome. Right, I'm gonna go. All right, thanks for helping with the blackberries. Yep. I'll I shall see make that later. tomorrow. What do I do with these? I just put them in a, <clears throat> float them in a bowl of water to get all the dirt yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, you need to. Right. right. Cheers. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Right. Well, it's night time. I'm stood outside the cottage. You can just see the moon in the sky above me. Um, thank you for watching uh, the daily videos. I've done seven so far this is number seven 
Um, I actually did one the day before I started the series, so it's actually the eighth video that I've done in eight days. Uh, I'm absolutely shattered. So I've decided that I'm gonna take at least tomorrow off. I can't guarantee I'm gonna be making one Sunday. I don't know, I said I was gonna do a Sunday roast. We'll see how that goes. Um, but I'll be back to making videos next week. Will they be every day? Who knows, you'll have to wait and see. But I just wanna say, from me here at the cottage, uh, actually, I'll just show you the cottage. There it is all lit up. I just wanna say, have a lovely night wherever you are, or if it's a day, have a lovely day. And I will see you very soon. So good night.